Hi there, welcome to Gabby Shaves. Very nice to see you. Nice to be back here shaving. Uh, it's the weekend, the sun is shining. What better way to start the weekend than with a nice shave? Uh, right, okay, how are you doing? How's things where you are? Uh, here in the UK, the lockdown measures have started again. Uh, there's little pockets of the UK are in, uh, some of them are in lockdown, other places are, there's different things happening all, all over the place all the time. Uh, yeah, so it's just, uh, <laughs> it looks like we'll be back to square one uh, in a few weeks time. There you go, just got to be careful again. So yeah, right, let's have a shave. Uh, Saturday, the weekend's here. Uh, let me show you the brush. The That Darn Rob Gold Digger. Uh, there's Rob's coin in the bottom when this brush was made. Uh, not in 2016, that's when he was established. He's actually just changed his name uh, of, it's not that darn, Rob, that darn Rob Brushes anymore, it's Chisel and Hound. Uh, I don't know why he done that, well there's a video but I've not watched it yet, I've saved it but I've not watched it. Uh, inside this is a synthetic uh, boss knot. Uh, there it is there, yeah, lovely brush. Really nice, I like this. Uh, that darn Rob, good stuff. Right, soap, sterling. Sharp dressed man. Uh, very kindly sent for my birthday from Alex de Leon. Thank you, Alex. Much appreciated, sir. Yeah, the scent on this is uh, Creed, Green Irish Tweed. Creed, Green Irish Tweed. Creed, Green Irish. I hope I've got that right. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's Green Irish Tweed. Um, yeah, so there it is. They're stilling soaps. You know, you know what they're all about. If uh, if you've been shaving for a while, they're very well recognised in the wet shaving world. I don't know where that sentence came from. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the uh, soap and the brush. Right, let me show you the razor, uh, first of all. Right, I was uh, browsing, <laughs> browsing AliExpress. Uh, AliExpress is a, you know, it's a Chinese site, it's got lots of different things on it, thousands of products of everything, you can buy everything on there. Uh, but I always look at razors and brushes uh, and there was one razor that jumped out at me and I thought, oh, I've never seen that before. And then following on from that, once I bought it, uh, a couple of days later, someone uh, published something on a forum, one of the shaving forums saying that they had got it and they'd used it. So I knew mine was coming, but it just came the other day. So here it is here. Uh, let me show you this razor. Uh, actually, I'll take some close-up pictures and I'll show you it right now. So here's the razor here. It comes in at 110 grams and the length is just about four inches. Um, it kind of looks like the Ming Shi, uh, the Mercury Future copy. Right, so here's the razor here. Right, so it looks like that. There's the uh, adjustable numbers there. One or kind of half through to eight. Uh, yeah, you can see it there. But right, the head comes off like this. Uh, there's the underside there. And that little bit in the middle is a magnet. Uh, so that's how the head stays on. So I'll just, I'll put the head on my hand here like this, look. Uh, where are we? There we are. You see how it look it sticks like that. So it all fits together like that. Yeah, it looks like the Merc Merc Future had a had a little baby in there. <laughs> uh, this is the razor. I don't know how it shaves, but we'll give it a go and uh, we'll see. Right, the blade I'm going to be putting that. Um, just recently, I thought to myself, I'm always using the same blades, feathers, Gillettes, ah, this, ah, da 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 da, whatever. Um, so I seen these in uh, my blade stash. And I thought, I've not used them in a long, long time. I can't even remember how they perform. Uh, Ladas, super stainless. Uh, yeah, good blade, Russian blade. 
So I'm going to put one of those in this razor. There it is there. Right, brand new. Double wrapped. Yeah, very nice blade actually. There we go. Ladas, super stainless. And on the other side, in Russian. I'm presuming. Right, so the blade goes on like that. Just making sure that this, yeah, so as you can see, that's, there must be some magnets under there as well because it's not going to fall off. So I'll just put the top cap on, check the alignment, it's all good. Yeah, pretty even. Well, not pretty even, it is even. Uh, right, I'm going to start off at number, uh, it goes one to eight, let's start off at five. So five. Just there, can you see that with the line? So um, there's the gap there. Yeah, it looks quite big, but we'll see how it goes. Right, let's uh, start lathering this soap. I'll just put some water onto the, that darn raw brush. Just put a little soak. I'll throw some water on the top of the soap. Put a squeeze and a flick. And we'll just Start lathering like this. Gathering, gathering the soap into the brush. <laughs> Great scent, yeah. Uh, that was my uh, weekend kind of chilled out song. Gathering the soap in the brush. <clears throat> yeah, how's your weekend going? Because this uh, when you have a, a nice shave. You, uh, you break out the, the big guns at the weekend when you have more time to just uh, shave and relax. I'm just going to dip the tips of that brush. Yeah, so just loading, 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 loading. That's way too much, Kevy. Kevy, you only need like a 10 second load with sterling soaps. <laughs> yeah, right, okay, let's see if that's enough. I think it will be. I hope it will be. Uh, Sterling soaps, as you know, are... Well, you might not know, but I'm telling you now. They're uh, <laughs> tallow-based, so... If that's not your thing, they're not for you. Right, just uh, clean that soap out. All clean out now, that just sits at an angle like that with the lid, like that. Right, let's, uh, let's start. I'm just going straight in here. I'm not even going to paint it on, just straight in with the brush. Thank you for all the comments uh, in the last couple of videos with uh, Sea Dog Scotty and uh, what was the last video I used the uh, it was using the um, black shit grooming soap. Sea Dog, uh, sea dog Scotty's uh, date with Wendy Wendy didn't end too well. He had too much rum and uh, yeah, she'd been eating lentils all day, uh, Wendy Wendy, so it was a bit gassy. <laughs> and uh, needless to say, uh, Sea Dog Scotty can't go outside at the moment because his, he has no eyebrows left after she, uh, you know, <laughs> he has no, <laughs> he has no eyebrows left. They've, uh, they've been singed off from Wendy Wendy.
Okay, just put a little, a little bit of water in there. I love leather and soaps. Can you tell? Can you tell? I like lathering soap, right? One little last dip of the water there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Happy with that lather? There we go, look at that, and the brush. Beautiful. Stalling soap's fantastic. Right. Heat the blade right. Let me oh, first of all, let me show you the, the box that came in. Very um, unprofessional, not showing you the whole packaging. Right, this razor, the name of this razor is Crap. Look at the name of that. S N M I R N Smirn. Smirn. <laughs> I don't know, that's uh, like a matador on there or something it looks like. So it's the and the people from Scotland will understand this. Craig Prentice, Craig Prentice is from the West Coast. He'll know um, St Mirren. St Mirren. St Mirren is a, a football team. St Mirren are a football team um, in, they're from Paisley, just outside of Glasgow. St Mirren. St Mirren. St Mirren. <laughs> yeah, so that's the box the razor comes in. It comes with these blades. Right. E cut. Premier stainless blades. Um, it says made in the EU uh, for WeCutChina.com. So I don't know what these blades are like. I didn't want to risk it in, in a new razor. I wanted to use a blade that I'd used before. So that's the blades it comes with. I don't know what we're going to call this. I like calling it the baby future. Baby future. <laughs> right, here we go. Uh, set in five with the baby future. Right. That feels great. Very nice. Not aggressive in any way. I wouldn't say. On setting five, I mean. You can feel it doing its job. Easy to find the angle. Yeah, this handle isn't slippy at all. Maybe if you go, if you had like really soapy hands, but um, yeah. So um, yeah, it feels it feels um, quite nice. Actually, this blade. This one's setting five, of course. No overhang on the razor, which is a great thing. Look, no overhang here. Yeah, it makes me a bit nervous that <laughs> it's just held in with that magnet. But to be fair, it's quite a strong magnet. Pretty easy to go under the nose there, not too bulky. It's a little bit bulky, but not too bad. The baby future, yeah, shall we call it that? Instead of the S-N-M-R-N. -N. That might mean something, I don't know. Maybe an acronym for something. I think in total, I'll put links for this. In total, uh, to buy this razor, and shipping from China, I think it was thirteen dollars, <clears throat> thirteen US dollars, which is about ten pounds. So you can get different packages, like you can get uh, a stand with it or different stuff. But I just kind of went for the basic razor because I didn't know what it was going to be like. But I'll tell you what, very good. <laughs> Feels great. 
Right, first pass done. That's excellent. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for the second pass. Right, rinsed off. Back to this brush with the uh, Sterling Sharp Dressed Man. Yeah, so I would imagine if you have a that darn raw brush with a coin in the bottom, it might be a little, um, <laughs> it might become a, a, a collector's piece because he's putting new coins in the, the chisel and hand brushes, new coins in the bottom. Yeah, there's a new website as well for um, Rob's new uh, name, Chisel and Hound. I think it's chiselandhound.com. Everything will be in the links. If I uh, if I can find stuff online, we'll, we'll put it there. Right, I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this up just to, to its highest setting, just to see how it performs up there. Right, so setting eight. Wow, look at that gap now. <laughs> right, let's uh, see how this feels. Right, still, um, you can feel the blade, nothing like the R41 or the Future. Yes, yeah, it's, it, it's not a smooth feeling uh, in a higher sense, but I wouldn't say it's like really aggressive and feel. I wouldn't say that at all. Right, I'll turn it back down just to, uh, I'll put it back down to five. Put it back down to five, just to do the moustache area. Yeah, it's always um, it's always good to see new razors. I mean, you look, look at the ones on AliExpress, and uh, most of them are like D89s, and you know, just with different handles and stuff like that. So when I seen this, I thought, wow, that's just that little bit different. I'll give it a go. For what? I think it was ten pounds, pretty much. Yeah, I had a Merkur Future uh, and I didn't get on with it. It was, I thought it was too aggressive for me. I might, that might change now. I'll need to borrow one and see if I could try it again, but it feels great. It feels really nice. Yeah, the, what do we call it? The Baby Future. <laughs> It'll probably be some trademark thing with Merkur, but here we go. Right, let me rinse and come back for the third pass. Okay, rinsed off. The brush. Let's dip in some water there. Yeah, nice scent on this, like a cologne. Great brush, this. Very soft. The handles, excellent. Really nice. Yeah, Rob's uh, handles just now. Amazing. You can see how much he's um, progressed with each drop, each uh, brushes he makes. You just seem to get better and better. Right. Right, 
I'm going to drop the razor down to number four against the against the growth pass, as we say. Very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Yeah, it feels um, it does feel quite mild on that setting. Almost like a like a tech. You know, that kind of mildness. You can still hear it cutting, still doing its job. So say quite a hefty razor, 110 grams, so it's quite head heavy. Just uh, bear that in mind. Blade feels really nice, nice and smooth. Yeah, good thing about no overhang. Don't have to worry around about your nose or your or your Van Goghs, your ears. <laughs> You're fine, Goffs. Feels really nice. Very smooth. Wow. Right, quick rinse. Any pickups needing done? Yeah, usual spots. Right. Just down the jawline here. What was that for? I don't know. Just uh just because I hadn't, I hadn't looked at the camera. <laughs> You're so vain, Kevin. <laughs> right, that'll do. Right, let me turn this up too. Uh, for the pickups. Now look how I'm holding it when I adjust that, so that there's no chance of it slipping. Uh, let me turn it up to setting 6 for the pickups. Can you see that? Yeah, right, okay. You can still hear it there. Good feedback. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I've nothing to do with the company that I bought this razor. I don't know anything about it. It's AliExpress, so. Yeah, just really giving you my thoughts on it. But I'm really impressed. It's a uh, very smooth. Shaves nice. I think the other person that bought this that was posted it on one of the forums. He said that the little magnet in the middle of the razor came out when he pulled the head off. When he pulled the, the to get the blade out, it, uh, the little magnet came out. But he just glued it back in. So, I mean, they aren't, these razors aren't going to be your typical high-end stuff, but what do you expect for 10 quid? 10 quid? Everybody's saying, what's 10 quid? It's just a, it's the way the British, it's another word for pounds. 10 pounds, 10 quid. 
20 quid. That's it. Right, quick rinse. Oh, that water's cold. <laughs> right, let's get the brush. Take what's out, what's left, the lather. Easily enough for a face wash. Right, face wash time. No alum today. I'll rub this in. Rinse it off with hot and cold. Clean up my gear. See ya for the post. <laughs> Feels great, that feels really, really good. Yeah. Right, on to the uh, post shave. Uh, I'm going full tilt, sharp dress man. Sharp dress man? <laughs> sharp dress man, full tilt, thanks to Alex De Leon. Uh, yeah, sharp dress man, splash. I'm sterling. Good look at that. Yeah, a little bit burnt. How much? Then onto the bam again. Thank you, Alex. Sharp dressed man. Full shave bam. Uh, Stilling bams are very good. You only need a tiny amount. I was used way too much. Yeah, just even that much, like. Oh, what a scent. Beautiful. Yeah, bombs. <laughs> smells just like the uh, soap and the splash. All matching. Very good. And we will finish it off with the Sharp Crest Man EDT. Love it. Yeah, sterling. Is it? Okay. Whew. Wow, oh, that's really, really nice. There we have it. Yeah, very good. Very, very nice. No irritation. Very smooth. Okay, let me show you what we've used. The brush for today, that darn Rob Gold Digger. Uh, yeah, with a boss knot, synthetic knot. Very good. Beautiful brush. Um, yeah, just to let you know that Rob's changed his name of his company now to uh, Chisel and Hound, which I'll put links for everything, you can go and check them all out. So that's the, uh, the brush. The soap was Stung Soap Company, Sharp Dressed Man, fantastic, easy to lather, tallow based soap, um, yeah, no problems at all, very easy, great scent, uh, Creed Green Irish Tweed. The razor, the, uh, <laughs> I forgot what we called it, was it the Baby Future? The razor, yeah. Um, the razor was the St Mirren razor, Craig. St Mirren, St Mirren. Yeah, I'm calling it the baby future. Uh, here it's here. Yeah, very good. Great razor. Really nice, nice to hold. Um, just something a little bit different. Magnetic, let's see if it, uh, yeah. So inside that was a brand new Ladas. Yeah, the magnet's holding on. Yeah, very good, very enjoyable. Um, I think down to the lower settings is very mild. Um, kind of once you get up past sort of five, six, seven, eight, it um, comes into its own. But if, um, yeah, I'd like to try it on um, maybe the lower settings with just like one day's growth, see how it, see how it performs. But good, good razor for the money. Yeah, just uh, I took a punt and uh, yeah, I like it. It's nice whether it'll hold up in months to come. <laughs> uh, we shall see, but. You know, nothing gained, nothing ventured, nothing gained, nothing gained, nothing gained, <laughs> nothing ventured, nothing gained. <clears throat> right, okay, uh, three passes, pickups, uh, had a face wash, rinsed off with hot and cold, um, post shave was Sterling, sharp dressed man, after shave, Sterling, sharp dressed man, ED, uh, BAM, and the EDT. 
and there we have it. Fantastic start to Saturday. Yeah, really nice. Um, yeah, I'm glad I got that razor now. Just something a little bit different. I like it. I like it. I really do. Yeah. Nothing to lose. Nothing ventured. Nothing gained. Who are you smirking at? Him again. Right, okay. Have yourself a fantastic weekend. Um, as I say, I'll put links for everything. You can check them, check them all out and uh, see what's what. See if anything takes your eye, catches your eye, takes your fancy. Oh. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, stay safe. Uh, keep washing your hands. Keep uh, wearing the masks. And I will see you in the next shave. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be using. I've still got some great stuff to show. But, um, yeah, it will be something very nice, no doubt. Okay, have yourself some great shaves. I'll see you soon. Take care. Look after loved ones. Bye for now.